plaintiff Napoleon Jackson is suing his former landlord for failing to fix a water leak that led to a $1,129 water bill. Defendant Jason Harp says he made the repairs and the plaintiff simply won't pay his bills. And he's countersuing for $1,000 for negligence for letting a fire burn down his kitchen. Nothing but the truth? I do. I do. This is case number 245 on the docket, Jackson versus Harp. All right, and welcome to both of you. Let's see what we have here. We have the plaintiff, Mr. Jackson. You are suing the defendant, Mr. Harp, for $1,129 for charges on your water bill that you believe you don't owe. Correct. And the defendant, Mr. Harp, you are countersuing the plaintiff for $1,000 for catching his your kitchen caught on fire. Okay, let's start with the plaintiff. Okay, the reason I'm here, Your Honor, is I'm suing my ex-landlord. It all started around May. I kept hearing something that sounded like water running. And I, I, I was like, what is that sound? You know, and uh, I'm listening. And um, it seemed like it was coming from the, from the toilet. I notified him that there's something going on and I can hear this water running. Yeah, how well, soon after you heard it did you let him know? I, I let him know immediately. And he's a firefighter, so he, he told me on his next day off that he'll be by to, to take a look at it. Yeah. He decided to go ahead and fix it. So he, he took out everything out of the, the, the inner parts of the toilet, and he, he, re, he replaced it. A little bit after that, I, I still kept hearing this noise. Okay, so um, the first water bill that we received was like in June. And it was over a thousand dollars. It was like a little bit over a thousand dollars. This was the first water bill that you received after you started to hear this, the noise. Correct. And what were your water bills about at that point? Roughly fifty-five, sixty dollars. And suddenly, after what you thought was flooding or whatever, or something wrong with the toilet or the pipes, it was suddenly a thousand. Right. When I told him about the high water bill, he he assured me that. If I take the receipt to the water company, yep. that they would adjust the water bill. And did they? They did, but I, I kept hearing this noise again. Okay? okay, so when we got the next water bill, which was, was around uh, August, another $1,500. So now we we looking at a little bit over $2,000. Yeah. Um, so I said, okay, well, that clearly, it, it, it's clearly not fixed. Do you have these bills? Uh, yes, I do. So the total judge at the top, and these are the adjustments highlighted. Were you paying your water bill? Yes. Every month you paid your water bill? Yes. Because this shows you had a balance. This is before the noise ever came or the toilet ever broke or whatever. You kept having a balance due on the amounts you paid. I've got the evidence for okay, you. Okay, I'll listen to you now for a moment. From the day one, uh, Mr. Jackson has just been kind of a shady runner. He paid cash every month. <laughs> I don't, you know, my wife, she thought that was odd. And so we looked into it a little bit and she pulls up the website of where he works at. Well, the website, <laughs> it just was a massage parlor. Not the one that you might go to for a, a back rub. Well, let's, let, but <laughs> let's keep me out of this. <laughs> Okay. You know, I've been, I've been a civil servant for 20 years, Judge. Okay. I have, you know, I'm as honest as the day is long. Okay. So you <laughs> did, okay. You're a firefighter? Yes, I am. Well, God bless 20 you 20 years. When he called the, or he actually texted is what he did. He texted in June saying that the water, the toilet's been running. I immediately go over there and fix the toilet. I take the guts out, I go to Home Depot, I come back, I replace everything in the toilet. Okay, and that got adjusted. Now I want to know what, then he said noise continued. Here's something from him about two weeks later. Oh, it's still making that noise. I fixed the toilet. That was in June. So the water bill was high, I gave him the receipt, I said, look, it's going to be a high water bill. I don't know what it's going to be. Here's the receipt. Contact the water company because I can't. The water bill was not in my name. Let me see the... On this, Your Honor, you're going to see that there was a, highlighted the adjustments of $1,000, $595, and $964, and okay. $150.
here's my question. The adjustments have been made. The case is you're saying your bills were higher because of leaks. You're saying because he didn't totally take care of it. And even though the water company gave you credit on that, it wasn't credit for all of the extra money. That's your case. And that's why you're suing for 1129. Some of that is due to you building up a balance from month to month, which I see here, even in months where we're not dealing with a leak because you're not paying the full amount that you owe in spite of the leak. Now we have your countersuit. Well, it's kind of ironic. You're the firefighter and his place burned. Exactly. I'm an expert at it, Judge. Did you call him? He's a firefighter. He called me three months later, Judge, when he moved oh. out. You're counting to him because the kitchen was damaged because of a fire somewhere in the area of $30,000. But even if it's twenty, dollars even if it's fifteen, dollars you're not suing him for that. You're just suing for the $1,000 deductible that is left. My question to both of you is, is there a security deposit? There yes. was. And what did the security deposit go to? Security deposit covered these items from the receipt from the remodeling company that were different than the fire problems. A repair hole knocked in the wall. The handrail was torn off the wall. There was, there was paint peeling off the walls. The handrail was, was already in the floor. The handrail was already loose. It okay. was already loose. He knew that. The Security deposit was fourteen hundred dollars. Yes, sir. And what were the total damages you took out of it? Over fourteen hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars for. No, that's eight hundred, uh, eight seventy-five, nine seventy-five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen seventy-five. It comes out to. Isn't that strange? It comes out to just about exactly four. Well, I mean, there was a few more things. Just to get he got he got a friend right. that does his. Um, okay does his adjusting so all right here's look I, I understand this didn't turn out to be a happy experience for either of you now i'm sorry though yeah well no i'm honest no. with you I, okay I, I really don't like that i mean i've literally before i've got the suit got served yeah i had talked to him for 20 minutes on the telephone the day before and had no idea and i told him i said you know what keep your head up life is going to get better for oh, you okay and I, I wish the best for you and i, I oh, well that's fair I, I, that's Under a, oath, Judge, I would say that I wish the best for him. That's okay. after every problem that we had going up until then. You sued him for 11.29 to take care of your water bill. Part of that 11.29 is, as I look at the monthly payments you made and did not make. Part of that was because of late fees that you didn't make the payment on time. You're suing for 1129. Even if I gave you both what you were asking for, if we would wind up with you winning $129. His 1000 against you, your 1129 against him. But because part of the 1129 to be fair was because you did have late payments, I have no choice but to say the case on both sides is dismissed. Hey YouTube, check out my new show, Judge Jerry. Now for sneak preview and behind the scenes footage, subscribe to my channel now.